In this lecture, we're going to take a look at making a UI component with Riot.js. So Riot allows us to essentially make custom HTML tags and of course, assign scripts and styles to those tags. So it's quite similar to making a component in other frameworks, but this is exceptionally lightweight and has next to no boilerplate. So let's start off by making a new file and I'm going to call this snazzy-timer. .tag. Now you can use any file extension that you want, but .tag is standard for Riot, so we're going to use that. And the name of our tag is simply going to be snazzy timer. So essentially we start off by writing the name of the tag. And from here we can go down and start defining the view. So inside of our view, I'm going to have We've been counting four and then a particular amount of time. So after that, we can define a set of styles and any scripts that we want to write. So let's first look at the styles that we want to create inside of our tag. So let's start by making a scope tag and inside of scope, we can make our text red because if we want it to be super snazzy it has to start out being red let's also add a font size of 100 pixels I'm then going to create an animation so let's make some keyframes and our keyframe animation will be called snaz and it's simply at 50% will have the color be blue so we'll navigate from red to blue and we'll do that over a particular duration. So let's add animation snaz over three seconds. We want it to be linear and run infinitely. Awesome. So we've set ourselves up an animation. Now we simply need to add a script. So there is a tutorial for Riot.js that has quite similar code, but all this essentially is, is an interval. So we can start off by defining our time and the time variable at this point is simply what we're binding to here inside of our paragraph tag. So we're essentially saying this.time is equal to zero. After that, we are going to create a set interval function and in each interval, so each second, we want to upgrade or increment our time by one. So let's make a function called tick. And inside of here, we want to update time and simply increment it by one. Super simple. So all we need to do after that is to define a timer by saying set interval, pass in the tick function and do it every second. So now every second our time is going to be updated to include the new time. Also with Riot, when we unmount or when this component is destroyed, we want to ensure that we clear the interval. So the interval is not kept ticking when we're not using this component. So we can say this dot on and we can pass in the unmount event. And when it does unmount, all we need to do is clear interval for that timer. So everything is fairly standard. As you can see, all we have is this interval, which is upgrading the time by one. When the component is finished, we simply want to clear that interval. So what we need to do now is add this to our index.html. So let's add a script with the source of snazzy timer.tag and the type is going to be riot slash tag. This tells the riot compiler that this is actually a tag. And what we also want to do is add a script to mount this script to the DOM. So riot.mount and then pass in the snazzy timer. The final thing to do is actually to add this to our DOM. So let's add our snazzy timer. 
And if we check this out inside of our browser, I'm going to run this with HTTP server. We can see that our snazzy timer changes in color and of course increments in time. So it's sort of a fun take on a counter and was achieved fairly easily. You can imagine if you had a full application like this, adding a new component is super simple. And like I said, there's next to no boilerplate. So if you want to add more components or more functionality, you can also scope everything. So it's inside that component. And we'll look at all those things in future videos for Riot, if it's something you want to see on the channel. So we've made our first component with Riot.js. Let me know what you think inside of the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe to stay updated. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.